Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Sahare Kiyoni Haku, and today I'm going to be talking to you about system type and give you some tips on it in relation to drawing ducts. This is actually a very important concept, so I suggest that you give a few minutes of your time and watch this video. One of the things we should pay attention to while we are drawing ducts is this thing called the system type. When we want to draw a duct, we go to the Systems tab, then click on the Duct command, and then specify a system type for our duct here in the Properties window. When we first open a blank template, we have three default system types which are Exhaust Air, Return Air, and Supply Air. These are the three main air duct types. So the air is either going to be exhausted and pushed out, and return actually returns the air from the space back to the machine and supply is for when the air is coming out of the machine into the space. Now it is possible that in our given plans, some different initials and indicators could be used to refer to these system types. For example, we might have both fresh and supply air ducts and then we might see that the initials FAD or SAD are used to refer to them. I can just go over to the project browser window and then open the families, then look through the items to find duct systems. There it is, and then duct system. Now, as you can see, the three system types we saw previously are also mentioned here in the project browser window under the subdiscipline duct systems. All right, so now I can just right click on supply, for example, and duplicate it and create another supply air too. Now I'm going to right click on this one and rename it and give it the name SAD, then press enter. Now once again I'm going to go on supply, right click and duplicate it again, and then rename this duplicated supply air 2, and we're going to make this one FAD. Alright, so now before I start to draw a duct, I'm going to go back here to the system type and see that now we have SAD and FAD. Alright, so now here's another thing. I would like the color of my supply air ducts to be different from the color of the fresh air ducts. We're going to have to adjust that once again in the project browser window. So I'm going to right click on FAD and click on type properties. Now in the graphics section, I'm going to click on edit. And in the window that appears, you see a line. This is where we can change the color of the duct. For example, I'm going to select red, then click OK and OK. Now I can go and open the drawer of this type, then select SAD this time, then go to its graphics and edit it. Now I'm going to change the color of the SAD ducts to this magenta color. Now click OK, OK, and OK. All right, so now if I use the system type SAD to draw a duct, let's go select it. We're going to see that it's going to draw it in the color magenta, and if we select FAD, we will see that it's going to draw the duct with that same red color which we selected earlier. So now not only their system types are different, but also graphic-wise, if we look at them, we can differentiate their system types based on their colors. If you would like to learn everything about modeling ducts in Revit from A to Z, and also project-oriented, and also learn about all the other information and points, about system types and projects, I would recommend that you get yourselves the MEP Revit tutorial package by going to the Bonro College website. So thank you for being with me throughout this video and have yourselves a very good day.